first where an agreement consists of two parts one legal and other illegal the legal part is separable from the illegal one such legal part is a void b valid c voidable d illegal look there's a transaction there's an agreement wherein there are it, it has two parts first part is legal the other part is illegal and both are separable both are both can be divided so the legal part will remain valid the answer is valid however the illegal part would be illegal and thus void so please remember if there is a contract which has two parts one is illegal the other is illegal and both of them are separable the legal part remains valid the illegal part being illegal becomes void next is which of the following agreements are expressly declared void by the indian contract act a agreement made without consideration b agreement by a minor or a person of unsound mind c agreement in restraint of marriage d agreement of which the consideration and object are unlawful the answer is agreement in restraint of marriage this is the answer now you might argue that agreement without consideration is also void agreement by minor or a person of unsound mind is also void agreement of which the consideration or the object are unlawful is also void now please remember that only this contract is void this contract and this contract both of them are void ab initio this is also void ab initio this is also void ab initio so a agreement which is expressly declared as void is only agreement in restraint of marriage s instructs t to enter on his behalf into wagering transaction t loses in the transaction and pays from his pocket he thereafter sues s for reimbursement can s raise plea of wager i'll first explain this question to you then i'll come to options here s is asking t to enter into wagering transaction on his behalf t enters into the wagering transaction but sorryly he loses and since he loses he first pays it from his pocket and then goes to s for reimbursement asking the money back but s denies here he says i'll not pay you now can s raise a plea of wager here can s say can s go to the court and say that this was a wagering agreement so i am out of it can s tell the court that because this is a wagering agreement i'll not pay or rather t was the one who had entered into the wagering here i have not entered into the wagering so now the options are yes s can raise the plea of wager b no as the agent's transaction which is collateral to the main transaction which is void is not affected c yes s can raise the plea of wager but only in the states of maharashtra and gujarat d b option is correct whereas c option is an exception here you have to understand that there is one person s he asks t to enter into wager let's say with x now t loses the wager he bets 
with x and he loses so he pays him now this t goes to x and he tells him please reimburse the amount that i have paid to x and t says i'll not pay you now can you tell me how many contracts are there there are two contracts first this is the contract and the second contract is between s and t this is the main contract which is illegal thus void and this is collateral contract which is valid because we know that all collateral contracts two wagering contracts are valid wagering contract this is the wagering contract this is the main contract it is illegal and void but this contract remains valid so a cannot raise the plea of wager because here t is working as an agent so no as the agent's transaction which is collateral to the main transaction which is void is not affected so this transaction is not affected however s can raise the plea of wager but only in the states of maharashtra and gujarat this case does not apply to maharashtra and gujarat in maharashtra and gujarat the collateral transaction is also void if the main transaction is of wagering nature it becomes illegal and void there are no two things about it but the collateral contract also become void in maharashtra and gujarat so s can raise a plea of wager that it can tell the court that the main contract is of wagering so my contract is a collateral contract so it will also become void so d is the answer where b is actually correct but in case of maharashtra and gujarat s can raise a plea of wager saying it is a wagering contract my contract is collateral so it is void i'll not pay